Hi. Uh, this is our guitarist, Terry Rosen. Terry has been with me about a year. He's a very, very talented young man, both in the field of, uh, of sort of commercial type pseudo jazz that I do on stage. And uh, when he gets with the right kind of cats that don't keep him bogged down like I do, he swings pretty good and also plays very pretty. We're going to do an album one of these days on reprise with just guitar and voice. The gentleman over here with the golden type horn and the somewhat shaggy mustache um, <laughs> is my trumpeter. His name is Ronald Jones. He is a very, very excellent musician and has quite a heritage because well, back in the old days of when big bands were really something, his father was quite a, a man in the, in the field. Same Jones, same thing, the basic man. And the he's been with me about six months, and he's going to be with me for about 17 years, because he owes me a lot of money, and I'm going to see that he stays with me. This fellow up here on the drums, um, he's the guy that most people talk about in the clubs and everything, because he's kind of flashy, and we spotlight all the guys, but Mike, in all honesty, usually walks away with all of the accolades. So the drummer has that chance and an opportunity to sort of shine when the spotlight shines bitely in the right direction. This sample has all of the necessary equipment to go along with it. Great soloist, great timekeeper. You just swing all night like this. His name is Michael Silva. Michael has been with me now, I'd say, about, well, about four and a half, five years. And uh, he's something else, which you will hear a little later on. Uh, the gentleman at the piano, uh, who is really the boss, I'm really the straw boss, sort of thing. Musically speaking, he takes care of all of the wise and wherefore us. He's been with me about five, almost six years, and he took over a spot in our group that certainly not the most comfortable one to take over. Took over a ranger and conductor, having been the pianist and been second in command with me for many of those five or six years. Morty Stevens was my arranger and conductor for a good many years. Morty left and I get married, settled down, became an arranger out here on the coast with Review Studios. And uh, George stepped in. We had no qualms about what he would do because uh, all the talent and the musicianship is there. And uh, in the last couple of years, he's really sort of blossomed into his own, so much so that every day we have him writing more things for our book. And uh, he's something else, both as an arranger and a conductor and as a pianist. Uh, these are vibraphones. These vibes have been with me about 20 minutes. <laughs> Actually, they belong to Victorio. And uh, I, now you show you what kind of real intestinal fortitude I have. I'm going to play with these gentlemen so I get them started. Now, you're going to hear some of the worst things you ever heard in your entire. And we will start it off just to get it going. <laughs> Thank you. 
That's about it. We'll be back. Uh, at least Frank Evans will be back. He's back. Yes, he's back. He's here again, that mysterious man, the Scarlet Tumpano. We will be right back. Thank like you. I said. Like you said. Right after this. 